find that out as we're about to jump into the pistol between Cloud9 and E United. Secondary map in this series, 1-1, one, one, it's tied up, and we are ready on overpass. One could say we are ready to rumble. Yeah, I, my voice is not good enough for that, I'm sorry. Um, my American accent is definitely not good enough for that either. <laughs> Now Relics here with a lot of utility, but look at this position here from Stiko, and he hits a beautiful shot on Dapper. Skadoodle as well, finding one of his own, gets the second golden. He finds one, it's Frax all over the place for Cloud9, and Skadoodle gets the triple. Off to a brilliant start with that pistol. That was perfect from Skadoodle. Triple kill from him. Stiko charming in as well, and so did Golden. All the three usual suspects from Mirage. Everyone stepped up there, and everyone steps up here in this pistol. Now we're going to see MP9s galore. No more MP5s. It's been a while since we, since we saw one of those. We actually saw MP5s all over the place on day one and day two. But now we haven't really seen them so much on the other side of things. Pistols as we're used to. Push up towards Fountain from the T side. Just going to clear it. Slowly but surely move up and one player in connector. The CTs are rotating back. They're just going to hold their ground on their respective bomb sites. Make the terrorists come to them. Especially where the MP9 is so strong is in that close quarter combat where the terrorists are running into your aim. Running is exactly what Moose is doing, taking a lot of grounds out to long. He spots oh, okay. one player, but now it's going to be Dapper with that Deagle. He's dangerous on it. He does manage to find one for Stiko with a quick trade. Stiko, he's going to go down though. Relics also with the Deagle. All of a sudden, it's a three on four favoring E United, at least for the time being. That flash catching Golden. Blind and Dazzle just watching for the flank, finding the frack on Rush as well. It's now going to be the two, two SMGs here, Golden and Automatic. Automatic does manage to get one. That molly is everything. Golden finds yet another, but Automatic goes down to Ace, no and kit. there's no kit and no time to play with. The round will go in favor of e United with Ace securing the frag on Golden. And two M4s picked up as well. That's perfect. That's exactly what they wanted. After a great pistol round from Cloud9, United bounced it back. And it's yeah, it's it's hard to kind of criticize what Cloud9 did. They had one player aggressively uh, down towards the, the end of Toilet, missed his uh, missed the shot in the duel against the Desert Eagle. And then Stiko did well finding the first one, tried to duel for a second frag, but then got completely shot out. And then the rotation of the flank was caught off guard, as you say. As you said, United were just very good at, as soon as they got those two openings, getting the bomb down, having good post position, positions, being ready for anything that Cloud9 could have thrown at them. And they were. Everything was prepared. That's exactly what we talked about with e United. They looked ready yesterday here on Overpass. And it seems like they know exactly what they're doing on this map. Skadoodle now with a deagle out towards them using, <laughs> using the, uh, the light post here. <laughs> a bit of cover obviously he's a bit a bit wider than it so he will go down ace finding the kill here on golden as well Stiko, he's low on hp down to just 20. automatic up close towards long and he's patiently waiting for a potential of dapper moving in his crosshair in the meantime we do have moose again just trying to cover some grounds trying to get a bit more map control and a bit more information on his opponents there's one player down towards me, that's going to be Rush, sitting patiently waiting right around the corner here. And Rush does manage to find a beautiful headshot on Moose, but in the meantime, E United, once again, they are slowly but surely going to make their move closer towards that A bomb site. Oh, Two defenders position. still close towards A, and indeed, Automatic is in a good position. Stiko, he needs to hit some shots here, but with 20 HP, as soon as they get close, and that's going to be it. Ace will take him down automatic. He gets shot in the back by Relics. Rush with that M4. There's a fourth player here for Cloud9. But he's in a horrible spot. He needs the ace for this one and Dazzle in a good position will shut him down with the AK-47. That's gonna be 2-1 for United. Yeah, this is getting very dangerous for Cloud9. As we do know, stats-wise, it tells us that United wins most of their rounds. On the CT side of this map, 56.7% to be exact. So them having this good of a start, losing the pistol, yes, but bouncing straight back, looking very comfortable on the C side, looking like every single part of their game plan from the initial strat to the mid-round call to the post plant positions and the kind of small deals that the players make between themselves to kind of cover off different areas of duos. Everything seems to be on point for this T side. 
I like this, and it's been a while oh, since no. I've seen it in a oh, professional no. match, but unfortunately, automatic. He didn't really hit any shots on Mirage, and he's not hitting it this time around either. Moose will get the double frank as he takes care of automatic against Katoodle. That's a big jump from Dabber. Dabber gets the second as well. Golden will find one and a second. Golden definitely hitting shots as well. Now switching over to the M4, but Dazzle is posed and ready. Three players survive that, so economy building yet for E United as Cloud9 will get their first actual buy round in. Five M4s, no op for Skadoodle this time around, and no kits either, no Molotovs either, and missing utility on some of these players here. Not a perfect setup for Cloud9, but definitely better than what they just had, so expecting some fireworks here from the defending major champions. Oh, they mean... I mean, they are defending major champions, yeah, at least, but at least three of the players Three are. of them are. Yeah. Moose taking a bit of damage early into the round. He's down to roughly 60. Wall bang up towards short, but no one in that position. Rush right behind the smoke here. Again, E United just covering ground. So they're spread out to make sure that they call for a bit of distraction both towards A and towards B. So Cloud9 are not exactly sure what's going on here. And Dazzle he is going to try and move forward, but with that smoke down, he gets stuffed in his tracks. Sitting three players right behind the two smokes here on bathrooms. Steeko right behind it. Skadoodle as well, and he does manage to find a double. Steeko needs to find one as well. Stasel is not close and personal, but it will be Steeko to take him down. It's all on Dapper and Moose. Finally, with this buy from Clown9, it looks to be working out just fine. Dapper inching his way closer towards the long position. Golden on the AWP. He's post up for this position. Skadoodle as well. They line up now, though. Dapper does manage to find the first, but Skadoodle with a quick trade. Moose left alone, one on four. Skadoodle, he's already gotten a triple. Now surely going to be looking for that board and will find it. Skadoodle, we saw him on Mirage. We saw him yesterday on Mirage. We see him here on Overpass as well. Yeah, the, the problem with this, of course, it's great that I can step back into the game and, 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 and Skadoodle can step up and get these frags, but we're still missing automatic and rush to kind of also be a part of this team frag wise and yes counter strike is not all about frags it's a team game but if you consistently are below your teammates there's, there's there's something wrong with the structure either you're not confident or comfortable in the positions you're playing a ct or something else is wrong something definitely needs to change because we know that automatic and rush can be exceptionally well their aim is strong game sense is off the charts everything's working out but it's definitely not working out right now golden taking out Dapper and just walks into the bomb site and get a free frag. In the meantime, Automatic over towards B as well. He's taking a good amount of damage. He's down to just about 20 HP. Dazzle down to 14. Low HP on two of the players here. One for Cloud9 and one for E United. But with that initial frag coming in from Dapper over towards the B bomb site and Rush now taking damage as well. Steeko is down towards B and actually most of the players from Cloud9 down towards B at this point. Do have Skadoodle. I believe he's still up towards the A bomb site. Potentially. I mean that that's a bit of a problem on the uh, the overlay, just like on Nuke. It's it's not easy to see if he's in Sniper's Nest or if he's actually on yeah. A. But he is on that's, A. I can see it on the X-ray here. That's how it is with uh, multi-level maps. But now United setting up for the B execute, and they are going to be running into a stack. But A is finding that frag. On Rush, that's going to help them out a bit. Now Skadoodle definitely on the rotation, but Automatic, he goes down to Ace. Steeko needs to come up massive as Skadoodle is out. He needs for the Ace, and I'm, I'm sorry, Steeko, I love you, man, but it's not going to happen. Ace right above him, shoots him right in the face, and that's going to be the triple for Ace yet again. Yeah, the life of Martin Stick will not continue in this round, at least, as he's taken out. 4-2 is the scoreline. United, they're looking poised. They're looking ready. Cloud9, it seems like they're, they're having a hard time finding answers for this. The CT side is where they usually do best and where Cloud9 excels, but right now it's not working out for them. Dapper with the opening, but answer back, but Ooh. instantly trades from both teams. 3v3. So that's definitely a 
some traits that Cloudline are going to take and be happy with. They need a bit more oh, automatic. He can change it around here, at least with the information that he's getting. If he can get the frag onto Moose as well, that is probably going to win them the round. Let's wait and see how it goes. Who's going to see each other first? This is pure luck, but he's going to take it automatic. The great positioning and a little bit lucky in the end. He's going to get the frag. Information being given now. 3v2 retake. This is very smart here from United, though. Dazzle is going to take the forward position into Walt's bank, secure that they get that position. He's actually going even further. Stiko does get the dink on him. But Dazzle returns the favor, and now planted for CT. This is going to be a tough task here for Russian Automatic. The two least kit. fracking players on Cloud9 for this series thus far. Good on the smoke. Still needs to be worried, but Automatic. That's a nice shot on Dazzle. Relics peeking out, finds the kill on Rush, and now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Automatic, if there ever was a time to step up, it's now. Unfortunately, it's not going to happen. Relix with a double kill, secures the round, and he united with a three-round lead. Five to two, and even though, as you said, Automatic hitting a nice shot, it wasn't enough. They didn't have a kid either, so only made the round even harder to win, and making it even harder now as the economy is in shambles for Cloud9. C set 75 and P250 and a Desert Eagle on Steco, that's all. No armor, no utility. How are they gonna cope against this full buy? E United. Pack 10 on Aces. The least worrisome weapon, but in a round like this that sometimes becomes the most worrisome as he can just farm up cash and run in, jump spotting everywhere. Now I'll have to say. I would love for Cloud9 to take a tactical timeout, maybe even join two together to get some time to figure out what's going on with Automatic, what's going on with Rush, how do we fix it right now? Because that's what they need. They need these two play players to fix whatever issues they're facing so they can face the issue at hand, which is beating E-United, qualifying for IEM Chicago. Sometimes... Even though you know what the problem is, a solution can be hard to find. So philosophical. Yeah. <laughs> Want to do my spare time? <laughs> Dazzle, Moose and Relics, Ace as well. They find one each. It's now going to be all on Rush. He goes down to Moose as well. That will be the 6-4 scoreline here for e United. Let's see if they take a timeout before this buy. Not looking like it so far. So definitely want to try whatever they have in store here. If it doesn't work, I would completely jump on the wagon and say, yeah, take a time and find out what the issues are. Sometimes, it, like, if, if a player isn't comfortable, it's very hard to fix it on the fly. Um, and they only had a day to fix it anyway, since they played this map last against the United. So, even though there might be a, a problem here, there, it can be very hard to fix with this little time to go. But this is an interesting setup. Golden is not going to get a frag because they're all going to rush in through Monster. Rush, exactly the player who's going to lose his hit. Stassel pushes out. Now they're going to go for the boost off the buff sandbags and beautiful stuff here. Automatic does manage to find the frag on Relics. They're going to go for the reboost. Automatic not going for the spray down, but he finds the frag regardless. Ace out of the equation. Dazzle, he goes down. Automatic finally hitting some shots. Three kills for the round. Dabber needs to be careful. There's a player right over to the graffiti side of things. Dapper going to get pushed upon from all angles. He does manage to find one moose as well. And it's now a two-on-one and now a one-on-one. -on -one. Automatic he needs to find the final kill as well. Got to tap the bomb. He doesn't have a hit. He finds the kill and finds the frag. Moose goes down. I don't think he has it. He will just in be in time. It's going to be come down to the last second. Yeah, that's going to explode. And there we go. Even though he gets an heroic effort and a 4K, it's not going to be enough. E United also finally to note is that the setup that Cloud9 had for that was the position from Golden and also the fact that they were kind of gambling on the that they were going to go through short and maybe do a slower take where they could get an early advantage. But E United, unbeknownst to them, they didn't know about the boost from Golden. They just all went through Monster, and that's a perfect counter to what Cloud9 were throwing at them. And even though, as we said, Automatic gets that 4K, it's going to be moves to win it out just by the fact that he was staying alive and winning those duels against the teammates of Automatic. Now the economy once again for Cloud9, hard to handle. Rush 
and Golden both below the 2k mark. And plenty of cash on Relics and Moose. Yeah, the economy definitely in, in shambles here for Cloud9. Maybe they should consider hiring a financial advisor because <laughs> it's not looking great for them at this point. I'm available. <clears throat> Do you know a lot about finances? I know that I'm really good at, you know, using my money. Not necessarily oh, so in the wise. You're very, very good at spending it. Yes. See, that, that wouldn't be a financial <laughs> advice I would hire. Well, it depends on how much money you have. <laughs> Relics. Not enough, not enough, <laughs> definitely, True. if you're going to spend it all. <laughs> Blake's is going to push out. There are two players in towards connector, and they're both going to get dealt with here. It's Dazzle and Relics, they find one each. Dapper, he takes care of Stika. Dapper finds the second onto automatic. It's so rush. unfortunate for Cloud9 because they're doing a yeah. ton of damage, but they're not connecting it to any, uh, yeah, connecting it to any, to any kills here. 8, 9, 13 <laughs> HP, and... Rush final will get one, but that's a completely different player. He'll have to clutch this 1v5. He's gotten the first one, but he has 43 HP, and the player next to him has 100. Yeah, that's the... Well, the problem f for Cloud9 here, and, and the good thing for E United, the E United are thinking about exactly, like, every, every single move here. They know, okay, there's a high potential the last player is down towards B, because we killed four players up towards A, so... Either it's a full A stack, or the last player is down towards B. So they leave Moose, the most healthy player here for E United, to just watch for the flank. Now Rush picking up the AK-47. Obviously, I mean, it's it's known to us, us at this point. He's just trying to hold on to it. And to be honest, at this point, I'm actually glad that they're not directly hunting him. They can go and hunt one player after time runs out because they have money on Moose. But I'm glad that they don't pull like three players towards him because he could t potentially in that scenario take out so much of the economy and the economy is not that strong yet yes relax has money yes moose has money but the rest of the team is actually quite weak despite them leading eight to, eight to, eight to two here so i really like the choice of only committing one player after the bomb explodes to ensure maximum damage if that happens but now this is the round this is the buy automatic and skadoodle double up set up for them Full buy on almost everyone else. Utility all over the place. Kits as well. This is the best chance that Cloud9 has had so far to get around on the border on the CT side. I did say in the break that yesterday for Cloud9, losing 16-3 to against E United on this map was definitely a fluke. Now it's looking like E United are just incredibly strong on overpass. Yeah, incredibly Cloud strong on the T side as well. Yes. Like it was 12-3. It was ST yesterday against Cloud9 and it's it's shaping up to to the same result to be honest like it's looking like it, it looks it's looking like it's possible again oh, I like this decision here from Cloud9 though automatic not hitting shots on the rifle so they give him the AWP to just see if that helps a good nade here though Dapper and Relic's taking a good amount of damage Moose taking care of Rush Rush not hitting shots either automatic we'll get we'll get Taken down to roughly 70 through the uh, wall bang. Skadoodle. Kind of an interesting position with the AWP here from Skadoodle. He's in toilets for now, but the Tyrus team have not gone for his position yet. It's going to be the fake here. The utility and relics pushing in. The rest of the team are setting up and connected to go towards short. And that's going to force a two players mid rotation when this hit comes. Stiko, he does manage to take care of Relics Golden in a strong position, but it's going to be automatic. Finally hitting some shots, and it's with the AWP. He finds the double, almost connects on the third, but it will be Moose to take him down. Skadoodle, he finds the shot on Moose, and now it's going to be all on Dapper. One on two. Skadoodle and Stiko to try and clutch this one out. Skadoodle just holding on the left-hand side of the smoke, waiting for Stiko to get closer towards the site. So they can join forces and play this one off each other. They don't have a kit, so they need to be quick about it. There's not a lot, a lot time left to play with. They need to be very quick about it now. Smoke on towards the bomb. Dapper right next to the pillar. And he gets the double and the triple for the round. And he takes them down in another round for E United. What is going on? They're getting dangerously close to the same result as we saw last night. Finally, Automatic joins in and... Get some facts on the scoreboard, but it might be too late already. Cloud9 struggling here on overpass as the United are looking perfect, poised and perfect. Also, we have to remember that 
yesterday, we only saw four rounds of their CT side of United, but they won all four of them. So they might even have a crazy strong CT side as well that we haven't seen so far. Skadoon will fully flash up. That timing is so perfect. He even burns and loses some HP in the Molotov, but the flash timing from Dapper's teammate is on point. He gets a free frag. Golden shuts down Dazzle and connect them. And Stiko with a beautiful headshot to Relics. Out towards Long. More than likely going to pick up the AK-47. Well, for now, he's going to stick on the M4. Golden bouncing back towards the B-bomb site. A good start to the round. Well, not a great start to the round as Skadoodle went down without a fight. But Golden and Stiko answering back. That's what it's all about. Dapper, in the meantime, he's made his way up towards the A-bomb site, but automatic. He knows that A short is open. He knows that's a possibility. Oh, Ace! 12 HP to spare. Ah, what a gamer. Wow. <laughs> 2v3, oh, my though. Manta. Still, the, still possible. The bunny hop there and, and then hitting the shot as well. That's... I love it. So, 35 seconds to go. And Moose and Ace will have a choice to make. A or B. It's very simple, but Automatic already now pushing in, getting so much information. I'm not entirely sure if this is the right information, because remember, Automatic was out to yeah. watch long, went up on A, and then down to watch, to watch short toilets, Definitely. which means that they might actually think it's B. Now they'll know for sure, as Golden does manage to find the frag on A's, but Moose has will trade him out. Indeed has to go for the plant. He's forced to. I'm kind of you rush taking him down. I'm kind of worried. Uh, I'm kind of thinking about the two extra seconds he spent before he planted that bomb. If he had those two seconds, got the bomb down, rotated slightly to the left so that Rush couldn't kill him. That's a that's nitpicking and a very small thing. But yeah, it, it kind of seems weird just stopping up, waiting a second, two seconds before planting that bomb. I think what happened there is you need to be directly in the corner to actually plant it yeah. from that position. And I think he 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 wasn't quite he wasn't quite there, so he tried to plant, but. It didn't work. Could be uh, an excuse. Stiko trades for his teammate. Goes back to hold towards party. Automatic finding an off angle this time around. Finding a frag on Moose as well. This is something that we've been discussing. Something that Cloud9 needed to get back into the game. That is automatic. And he's definitely done that so far. So kudos to him. And we just need Rush. Yeah. But then again, automatic is like... Definitely the player that they are going to set up more for insane frags and, and good numbers than they're going to set up Rush, especially in the in the role that he has right now. But yeah, of course, it would be great if he would step up to the level that we know he can bring. Dapper, they knew at some point at least that Automatic was down towards the connector area. Well, down towards B and then moved closer towards the connector area. Ace. With that AWP inching his way forward, Stiko right behind the smoke. Now the smoke is so far out, so far forward that he can actually take a peek in towards the toilets as well. Dapper. Oh, that flashbang! Unfortunately, it goes. It doesn't go quite far enough, and it actually blinds Dapper as well. But Relic has a sick shot. Stiko jumping USP to take care of Ace. Finally, he will go down as Relics. He's on the double. He's on the triple. He He's on the hunt. He has to plan day. Exactly. No more time to work with here and rush. Please, mate. No! Relics! He gets it. The quad. Welcome rush. to the clutch. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Rush in a good position. But, I mean, I don't I don't fault Rush for that. No. Relics just hit that a is an insane shot. shot. Insane shot. Also, Relics, of course, a top performer from last night. 19 yes. frags for him. Steps into the game again. And with a 10-6 scoreline already, they have to find an answer to him. And now, finally, Cloud9 going for that tactical timeout that I was talking about. It's important for them to figure out how to deal with E United. Because this, as you said, they're on track E United for the same score as yesterday, which I thought was a fluke. Yep. But it definitely doesn't look like They're two rounds away. And this one was probably is probably going to be free since it's going to be the eco for Cloud9. Or they could go for the force buy since Rush and Golden are pretty low on money. That seems to and be they are going to go for that, okay. Do. So Stiko's going to get the the scout. 
and everyone else is going to get pistols, but some utility behind us. This is not a terrible buy. Right it's not now, a terrible. Sneaker is going to get a headshot with this scout. Watch. Okay, I'm watching. Let's wait and see. Okay, never mind. That wasn't a headshot. <laughs> Close, but what, no what do you owe me now? <laughs> um, Ice cream? Drinks on me tonight. Oh, drinks on you tonight. There we go. Of course, going to get some apple juice and some water. <laughs> Ace and Daffer, they do manage to find one each. I mean, had I called that, that would have been sick, right? <laughs> that would have been sick. That would, uh, then, then apple juice would have been on me tonight. <laughs> Rush. He goes down to 25. Golden. That's a nice shot with an eagle. Golden pushing out, trying to find some more relics. Poised in a good position. And again, it's going to be the fake towards a smoke and the flashbang out. But there's still a defender on B. That's Rush. Sitting over by the barrel spot with the molly. That's just that's just great. He's gonna rock, walk right back into it. I I think I think that he thought it didn't quite land. He thought it went over. Definitely Relic didn't. Finds yet another for his collection of frags at this point. Golden. We'll get one more with the deagle, but two HP, and he's just gonna fall back. See if he can find a weapon somewhere, potentially from Dapper or, or Dazzle. Down 2 HP. Not much to live on, but as long as he stays away from any duel, he's going to make it. And as you said, searching, trying to find it. Moose oh, come into the back, and it's going to be round number 11, and we are one round away from the exact same first half score that we saw yesterday. And when I saw it yesterday, I thought, okay, this is something that happens one time. One time. Once, in a, once every full moon, something <laughs> yeah. like that. <laughs> and we're now on the brink of it happening again. When health oh. freezes so Yeah, we just have to say United, T-side, overpass. They are incredibly strong. Gonna add another scout to their collection. And yeah, beat great teams on it. And they're about to beat great team twice in two days. A moves with the wild spray down, down through the monster pine. Does manage to get one fully blinded, but getting traded out relics, shutting them down left, right and center. He does manage to find two more. Once again, it's going to be on rush and golden this time around. Smoke out. It's a slight gap in it on purpose here from golden. Does manage to find the kill on relics. Pushing out, deals a bit more damage, setting up with the AK-47, but can't seem to pull it out in time. Well, it's going to be another round here for United. It happened. 12-3, as we saw yesterday, the exact same result comes out. And if history repeats itself, then United are going to win the pistol and win the next three rounds, and it's going to be 16-3. I highly doubt that's going to happen, though, but let's just wait and see. Cloud9 definitely will do whatever they can to answer this one back as we jump straight into the second pistol of this map. United, if they take this pistol, this could be a very one-sided affair here on Overpass, just like we saw yesterday. I mean, we, we're starting to sound like a broken record at this <laughs> point, but... Yeah, that's true. It's fine. I think the record is pretty good, so... <laughs> <laughs> but to be honest, Cloud9, I mean, they're a broken team on this map. Yeah. This is not working out. Definitely not. They need to change something. They are going to go for the quick play down towards the B-bomb side. Dazzle, the first line of defense. Dapper does manage to find one, but Seeker, he has his back. Moose and the Relics, they find a quick headshot each. Skadoodle will find the frack on Relics. Moose still in a good position. Skadoodle, somewhat low on HP. Automatic taking care of Moose and Skadoodle finding Ace. And at least they get one more round than yesterday. And hopefully they can get some more. Hopefully they can start this comeback. And it's only, only in quotation marks, eight rounds between them and, and E United. They'll just have to put on their grinding shoes and get started. I'm not sure if you have grinding shoes, but let's just imagine a world where you do. They would put them on now. How will those look? I don't know. Potentially made of grindstones, I don't, I'm not sure. It'd be quite heavy. Ground, grindstones for, for shoes. I wouldn't want to wear them, let's put it that way. It's fashion, mate. <laughs> well, I'm alright with not being fashionable, <laughs> if that's fashion. Fashion's weird. 
what is fashion in this iteration of Counter-Strike is the C set 75, and they seem to get a lot of kills with it. Dazzle this time around, he managed to find the frag on automatic down towards the connector area, pick up the AK-47. Quality transition there, 10 out of 10. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm pretty but, pleased with it myself. But let's see if, uh, <laughs> if now the CT side of e United can transition into a good defense as Cloud9 is setting up. Two AK still on the board. Skadoodle is on 67 HP, so can't really take too many duels before he's gone out. Encroaching and getting closer, ever closer to this A bomb site. Flashbang coming in now from Skadoodle. Flash indeed. Goes to the back side of the side itself. Ace and moves. They find one each. Steco. He burns Dazzle and moves. Still low on HP, Skadoodle, he finally answers back. And now it's down to a one-on-one. -on -one. Relic's so far away, he's gonna be on the flank. Skadoodle, maybe, not aware about it, and he's not in Relic's. He gets it, that's 13 to four. A false buy victory from me, United, and that's exactly what happens with the C set 75. There we go, Desert Eagle from Relic's coming in in the end, and Skadoodle wasn't Really counting on, in, on, 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 him com, on him coming in from that connect area. That, that was a tough That was a hard set. <laughs> but yeah, to be honest, it's fair enough because you in that situation in the 1v1, you expect him to be bank, you expect him to be stairs, basically. One of those positions. And Especially with that late. Exactly. And when that first eagle shot hit, it was, all, it was already too late. And now we have the push coming in. Rush. We'll get one, but Moose doubles up. And now Dapper. Over towards the water position, trying to find some of his own, but Moose, he goes on the aggression. He finds the frag and Skadoodle not before the bomb goes down, but Golden lands the back. Moose is out of the equation. It's now on Steeko and Golden. Golden, he's hitting the shots. Dapper trying to find the return and will do exactly that. With the USP, that's going to be 14 for E United. They know that this is their shot to travel to Chicago and play al alongside with the big boys. Yeah. In the big league. For the big money. For the big money. 250k, if I'm not mistaken. So, a lot of cash on the line here, Cloud9. Some people were saying that Cloud9 potentially deserved an invite for this tournament. And before this qualifier, I, I would probably have agreed with them. But E United, they are just playing so good right now. I would have to say two months ago or so, I would definitely agree. But Cloud9, they, they've been falling a bit off. And, and then with Tarek and Stewie going to MIBR, now they're with uh, Stiko and Relic. So you got to take that into consideration when you invite them. Yeah. Who were they playing for before? How did they do? Do they deserve an invite with these new players? United guys are... Definitely getting a taste of the of the good life with, of course, the, their invite to Streamhack Open Montreal and now potential of attending an even bigger tournament at IEM Chicago. This is their chance and they're not far away now. You can almost smell it. Two rounds from a 2-0 and only one map between them then. But they have to finish it now and Dazzle is trying his very best. Flash comes in but he gets the triple. Dazzle just turning around for that flashbang. Perfect reaction. Back on the target and indeed the triple for him. It's now going to be all on automatic with the AK-47. That's golden. He's on the deagle and he's hit some crazy shots and will do it once more. I actually thought he was going to be out of, it, out of it considering that he doesn't have any armor at all. He finds the frack either way. Unfortunately, he will go down without that armor. It's an easy target. Automatic. He's the quart for this one. Oh, unfortunately, the timing. It's, it's not great for him. Dapper will shut him down. That's going to be 15 to 4 for E United on overpass. I mean, it's it. If we have to find something positive here for Cloud9, which is kind of tough right now, at least they got more rounds today than they did yesterday. <laughs> That's that's definitely true, but when you're looking at the the next couple of maps, Cash, they've only played two games on it, and they've lost both of them. 
train. They have not played with this new lineup in officials. This could go ahead and be very dangerous, but Skadoodle, he wants it differently. Start things off by picking the head off Moose. That's an important kill here from Skadoodle. But Dapper, fully blinded, he goes for the wild spray down, does manage to connect on one. An automatic fires off, he finds the double headshot. Down to just 7 HP, but Dazzle, he's low as well on Ace. He's thinking about just falling back and potentially holding on to the weaponry. And that's the clever choice, because if you look at the money to your bottom left, there's not a lot on the bank account still for E United. Cloud9, despite losing rounds, they have made them close, making sure that the economy cannot run away on E United's side. So clever choice here from E United to save their weaponry, and also the utility on Ace and Dazzle. And Cloud9 will be gifted a lifeline. And furthermore, you gotta keep in mind that, you know, E United, they're up by 11. They need one more to close it out. They, they could, if they want to, I'm not yeah, suggesting it, but if they want to, they could go for three or four Ecos just to make sure they have a decent economy. Just to make sure they can buy that's, whatever they want. That's Get the next level, gets, next level strategy. Like just take four Ecos. Five Scar 20s. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I hope that doesn't happen. Yeah, I would hate to see it. So, it's going to be the economical choice here, as you mentioned. They're not going to force up into it. They're going to stay on the two M4s and buy some CZ-75s around. Actually, Relics buy all the way down to 900, which suggests to me that they're going to do a double eco, a full eco after this, or at least some pistols after this. So let's see how they're going to do it. They still have a chance here with three CZ-75s and two rifles. It's definitely a good oh, Good shout. Rush will start things off and automatic will continue. And that's already now a two-man advantage. That's a two rifles gone as well. It's a beautiful, beautiful timing on the flashbang there, up towards the um the birthday, the picnic, whatever you want to call it. Catching Dazzle completely blinded, much like E United did to Skadoodle. And when E United were on the T side. It's, it's, it's all about knowing the timings here in Counter-Strike. It's, it's one of those micro things that, that if you can get that on lock as well, you're in a good position. And uh, in a good position indeed, E United 15 to 5. For this round though, not the greatest position. Yeah, this is where the 90% chance is going to go to Cloud9. Unless Moose does something absolutely insane right now, because the two other players are stuck on the opposite bomb site. So let's wait and see if miracles do happen for Moose. Or if he's just going to be decapitated and uh, hung on the, on the nearest wall in the Hunter's Cabin. I'm not sure if we actually put Moose moose heads in your on your wall. There might only be like stacks and stuff. Not on my wall specifically, but I have, I know I have that many, they do many it. hunting trophies. I know other people do it. Yeah. But I don't have any hunting trophies. Oh well, you gotta you gotta work on that, mate. I mean, I'm all about making love, not war. But <laughs> I don't know. Usually that <laughs> usually that is a a good way to live your life. I, I'm not also, I'm really scared about like a moose is a pretty big animal. I, I what is? I don't want to deal with that. As this round ends, uh, relics and Dapper are gonna save their weapons. What is moose in plural? Meese? Mooses? I'm actually, I don't know. I've heard this before, but but I have no clue. Detective Risk on the job. He's got to figure that out. In the meantime, we're going to figure out exactly what E United are going to do for this one. Again, it seems like they're, they're doing this. Um, I mentioned, you know, they're so far ahead. They could potentially go for five Ecos if they wanted to. Obviously, that was a bit of an exaggeration, and everyone should know that. Um, but, but they are going for two min buys, as I like to call them, where they're investing a bit to make it a bit interesting and keep the economy low on Cloud9. But they keep enough money so they can get a full buy in the next one. And moose in plural is just moose. There you have it. Dazzle with the CZ-75. He's gotten plural kills with that one. Or multiple kills, potentially. Rush. We'll finally shut him down. Low on HP though, a lot of damage dealt here from Dazzle. 259 to be exact. With a C set 75, that's a $500 weapon. That's a <laughs> pretty good invest investment. Yeah, some logical people would argue maybe a bit too, too strong.
I'm going to potentially join that bandwagon. <laughs> oh, Stiko. Last shot on Ace. Moose also with this. He says 75. He gets a double. Could this be it? Surely not. Stiko, he's so low on HP. He needs to come up.